Hi guys, wow, just wow. What the heck happened to Laura Koonsberg? Because she was on fire in this interview with the Home Secretary on Sunday morning. Now the issue is about sending asylum seekers to Rwanda and whether it's safe. It isn't. We know that, and Suella Braverman knows that. But she's sure that her supporters don't give a damn about the risks to people fleeing persecution in their own countries, and the added risk to life by sending them there. Anyway, Laura done a wonderful job here. She asked the politician very clear questions and then let her dig a hole for herself. Have a listen. Safe to send refugees to Rwanda from Britain. You sound like you are completely convinced of that. I am convinced that it is safe to send refugees to Rwanda. Now, yes. the reason I ask that is that in 2018, a group of refugees in Rwanda did stage a protest because their food rations were reduced. Do you know what happened to them? I'm not familiar with that particular case. OK, well, I can explain to you and explain to our viewers what happened then. According to the United Nations refugee body, a group of refugees staged a protest. The Rwandan police then fired live rounds at them and 12 people were killed. Now, the Rwandan government says it was a last resort, there was violence at the protest, but the United Nations and eyewitnesses say that live rounds were fired. We can show some pictures of what happened in the aftermath of that protest, and we've verified the location and the date at which that happened. Are you sure still that it is safe to send refugees to Britain, and I so to Rwanda? And I suppose the point here is, if something went terribly wrong, would you end the arrangement with that country? Would you say, okay, you know what, that was a mistake, bring people back? Well, as I said, that Now, before we get to the scripted response, how is it possible that Suella Braveman didn't know about this? Now, if she didn't know about it, it means that the country was not properly vetted. If she did know about it and ignored it, well, that's even more serious. Then she's misleading the public. This is extremely serious because if she did not vet the country properly, she did not do a proper investigation into the human rights abuses in Rwanda, she should resign. If she did and she ignored the results of that finding, she should resign. That might be 2018. We're looking at 2023 and beyond. The High Court, senior expert judges have looked into the detail of our arrangement with Rwanda and found it to be a safe country and found our arrangements to be lawful. Can we see that report? Is it available to the public? Because as, as, as far as I know, it's available to you, but it hasn't been made public yet. Rwanda, uh, from which I've just returned, takes 100,000 refugees and resettles them. I met some of them in Rwanda on my recent visit from countries in the region. They have nothing but gratitude and uh, thanks for Rwanda for the resettlement scheme that Rwanda has put on for, as I say, over 100,000 people who are fleeing persecution, fleeing conflict. They have a track record of successfully resettling and integrating people who are ref refugees or asylum seekers. I think that as I think we're on strong ground to say that Rwanda is a safe country. It is the right solution for us fit, grappling with our small boats problem. And I believe it will strike the right balance of providing a humanitarian package of support for mm. people who are refugees, but whilst the United at the same time being a deterrent to those seeking a life in the UK. The <laughs> Which is it? It's a deterrent or it's a wonderful place? Now, you notice that she didn't say anything about undoing this policy if human rights human rights uh, have been abused in Rwanda. Of course she's not going to do it because she doesn't give a crap about human rights. Like any reasonable person would say actually we shouldn't be dealing with Rwanda look at what the police did. But she is not interested in the human rights of the asylum seekers or people in Rwanda. She's interested in the opinions of racists and bigots in Britain, keeping these people on board. Now, something unfortunate, unfortunately that wasn't brought up is the fact that there is a limit on how many refugees can be sent to Rwanda, but not a limit on the number of refugees that can be returned to Britain or sent to Britain from Rwanda. So it's important that people understand that this deal includes sending people to Rwanda, but also taking people from Rwanda. It's not something you hear a lot about, especially in the right-wing media.
this is a wonderful policy. We're going to stop the boats by sending people to Rwanda. Yes, but there are also people coming back from Rwanda, and there isn't a limit on how many people the Rwandan government can send to Britain. But once again, if she didn't vet the country correctly, then she should resign. A massive failure of government here. And if she did, and she ignored the results of that finding, she should resign. Completely unacceptable. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.